When you're coming into land, you've got to protect your head, neck and spine. They're your priorities. The uh, arm closest to the door, bring that up and put that across your chest. Keep one hand free, but also to protect your head. You can bring your feet in underneath you to protect you from any compressive forces and also bring your body down as well. That'll protect you there and you've got a free hand. Um, once you get in and you've landed, you can use this free hand to open the door. And that's also important if you happen to uh, be inverted in your plane with your aircraft uh, upside down so that you can open the door with a free hand and do that before you release your belts. When you come in, check the welfare for both, you know, obviously do a quick check on yourself and then the other person's in the plane, the pilot or passenger. As uh, quickly as possible after landing, clear the aircraft and uh, assemble at the rear, account for all persons. Do a uh, quick assessment then on the likely uh, hazards or risks around the aircraft, so fuel leaks or damage and the likes. And uh, from there, um, if it's safe to do so, go back and get major items of protection. Right, so once the people are okay, you want to get in there and uh, get any items, uh, particularly if it's likely the aircraft may be in danger of uh, damage or, or whatever. Whenever you fly, you should study the terrain where you're going to fly because it will vary with the uh, type of contents in your kit. But the very basic essentials that you need to cover would be uh, items to alert people to where you are and water. They're two uh, essential items. Uh, food for extended stays is uh, also something you might consider. Being able to make a fire for both uh, warmth and shelter and uh, protection is also very important as well.